The New River Valley is home to many pristine towns and cities, which we'll explore in this video. We'll learn about the local sites that make the New River Valley a place to visit and cherish forever. We first begin with the city of Blacksburg, that is home to Virginia Tech University. There are many unique sites to visit here, besides the university. For starters, there's a historically famous Smithfield Plantation. The story of Smithfield Plantation reaches as far back as 1774, when Colonel William Preston first moved into the house with his wife Susanna Smith. Their children would go on to be influential representatives in the Virginia House of Delegates, and the school started after them named the Preston All-In Institute would later become the world-renowned Virginia Tech University. Now open to the public, the Smithfield Plantation is a living example of the past and a testimony to the bravery and devotion to this country that the Prestons made. Next. We have the Hahn Horticulture Garden that was founded in 1984 by faculty members at Virginia Tech and is still maintained by the university today. The 5.8 acre garden was renamed after Peggy L. Hahn in 2004 after her generous gift that led to its expansion. The garden features hundreds of species of woody and herbaceous plants from around the world. To this day, the garden is a place for visitors to unwind, relax, and enjoy the true wonders nature has to offer. We then move a couple miles down the road to the historical Alexander Black House and Cultural Center. Alexander Black was the great-great-grandson of the founder of Blacksburg, William Black. The house remained in the Black family until 1935 when it was converted to a funeral home. Then, in 2002, the city of Blacksburg purchased it and deemed it a historical site to preserve. The final stop on our tour of Blacksburg is the Lyric Theater. The Lyric Theater truly began in 1909, but didn't arrive to its current location until 1930. It was a premier movie house at the time, being one of the only theaters in Virginia to show sound pictures. Since then, the original owners, Floyd Plank, Vane Kelsey and R.C. Wissett faced troubling times maintaining the theater. At one point, the theater even became a large classroom for Virginia Tech. However, through community fundraising, the theater has been saved and shows today's films just like any other one. We now journey into the woods of Christiansburg, Virginia, just outside of Blacksburg. Here lies the beautiful Falls Ridge Preserve. This preserve has numerous trails to explore and one that leads to a beautiful 80-foot waterfall. The land formations here have been altered into this magnificent waterfall, river, and even cave systems. We then come across the relatively small and quiet city of Radford, Virginia, which is home to Radford University. Here, the New River is a main source of fun in town. Along the river sits Bissett Park. Bissett Park is a mecca for outdoor activities here in Radford. It contains a 3.5 mile trail, numerous gazebos available to rent and host events at, soccer fields, tennis courts, basketball courts, and playgrounds. In addition, there's also multiple entrances to the river, and New River Adventure has a partnership with Mountain Two Islands and where they rent tubes, kayaks, and other equipment to enjoy the river with. Mountain Two Island is also the next stop on our trip for things to do in the New River Valley. Mountain Two Island is a multi-water sport rental company. They have pontoons, paddle boards, kayaks, and many other water sports available to rent. Their retail store located in Radford also has water sport accessories and merchandise for sale. In addition to the retail store in Radford, they have seasonal waterfront locations operating in Smith Mountain Lake, Dee Haven Park, Gatewood Park and Lake, and Clater Lake State Park. Here at their Clater Lake location, as well as their others, they have everything you need to have a great time on the water. You can rent paddle boards, kayaks, and pontoons amongst other things. 
And if you want to stay here at Claytor Lake, you can also rent one of the many cabins with a beautiful waterfront view, or stay in one of the campgrounds. Then, if you want to branch out, you can even visit the city of Roanoke that has a plethora of activities to do. One includes the Reed Mountain Hike, which is a more advanced two-mile one-way hike to a view that captures the beauty that the New River Valley boasts. So take a trip out here, or next time you're just passing through the New River Valley, take a break from the stresses of life and visit one of the many amazing sites the NRV has to offer.